Hello, people. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hi, Claudia. Hello. How are you doing? Hello, teacher. Hey, hello, Ibrahim. Hello, teacher. Hello, Cecilia. How are you? Hi, very well. Okay, that's nice. Yes, you, you sound very, you sound like very happy too. Are you? No. Suena así feliz, contenta. Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's nice. That's good. Positive, positive attitude, right? Always, always positive. Okay, let's see. Who else said hello? Who else? Okay, we have Carlos, there is. Carlos Cruz, Dahlia, okay, Cecilia, Patricia. Okay, we have Gisela now, Edwin. Okay. Let me getting stand ready. Hello, teacher. <laughs> Hello. Wow. <laughs> that's a very nice, that's a very nice voice. What's your name? Leila Mima Diadi Kevelaste. Okay, good. I don't know what language is that, but it's good. Okay. <laughs> nice. Okay, very good. Very friendly. Okay. <laughs> Good. Next one. So we have here, that's the prepositions that we studied last, uh, no, we were going to study. Okay, on my glasses. Okay, this is forum on the table. Okay. So we have this one. Remember the questions with uh, where, a, for example, when you have WH questions with the word B. I want to take a look at this for you to remember. And then we're going to see the prepositions. We can see the question towards the right. Hi, everyone. In this class, Yes, no, and where questions. We'll start by listening to a quick audio program. To the team. Oh no. Are they in? No, they're not. They're. I bet they're on the table in the restaurant. Are these your keys? Yes, they are. Thank you. See, no problem. And is this your wallet? Hmm. No, it's not. Where is your wallet, Joe? In my pocket. Wait a minute. That is my wallet. Let's try to make sense of the chart that you see on the screen. Pocket? Wait a minute. Okay. Uh, the next topic that we have is about prepositions, right? Uh, what is a preposition? Can say a few minutes of preposition? Okay, se acuerda. Prepositions of place. Aquí, eh, ¿se recuerdan de este tema? ¿Qué vimos acá? Objetos que eran singular, plural, ok. Que era esto, estos, este, digamos, el ser de cerca, ok. Objects that we have keys, TV player, backpacks, glasses, then we have the cell phone, and then we have all the okay, objects. 
then eso nos da una referencia cuando hablamos un, en cualquier idioma a que nos referimos ¿no? luego hay otro tema que está relacionado con la ubicación de un objeto con la persona que habla ¿okay? o con las personas que están alrededor entonces ahí es donde nosotros utilizamos también las preposiciones en este, en este, y hay preposiciones de muchos de muchos tipos ¿verdad? entonces aquí en este video estamos viendo los, los temas de en referente a una preposición de ubicación de un lugar y es Francisco en, en ese caso podríamos decir que las preposiciones son como punto A, sobre dentro, que son como de, de la ubicación de, donde se encuentra un objeto, ¿verdad? Exacto, es correcto. Entonces, ya tenemos el, cabal, este es el objeto que le damos un nombre. Entonces, por ejemplo, vemos qué es esto. What is this? What is this? This is the phone. It's a cell phone. It's a cell phone. Cell phone. Okay. And where is the cell phone? ¿Dónde está? In your hand. In your hand. Ah, cuando me dicen in your hand, in your hand, ya ahí me da la referencia de la ubicación. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, ¿desde dónde estoy dando yo mi clase? No de la casa, sino que con qué objeto. In the computer. The computer. Ajá. Uh -huh. And where is my computer? In front of. Ajá, pues, ok, vamos a ver, dos, me dieron dos ubicaciones y las dos están perfectas. Primero, ¿me dieron? On, on, the, on the desk. On the desk, on the table, está sobre una superficie cualquiera. Eso es on, porque la computadora está haciendo un contacto con una superficie. Ya puede ser la, la mesa o puede ser un escritorio, right? On the table, on the laptop. Pero ustedes no lo ven ahorita, pero eso es la referencia. Y la otra que alguien me dijo que no era sobre, sino que está en referencia. In front of you. In front of you. Pues sí, la tengo delante de mí. Correcto. Ok. Entonces ahí estamos. Ahí unimos el, lo que es el vocabulario con lo que son las preposiciones. In, on, at, eh, around, in front of. Ok. Que ya las vamos a ver en el siguiente video. Y acá tenemos, y me detuve aquí porque aquí está una. Mira, dice, oh, where are my car keys? Relax. Girl. Are they in? One, one, mm -hmm. one question, teacher. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre at y, y in? In es como más, es, es, es eh, digamos, como general en el sentido que pues, está en, dentro de los límites de algo. Usted puede decir, uh, estoy en la oficina, pero no está tan... O sea, puede ser que esté afuera de la oficina. Ok, que esté... Por no es tan específico. Adentro. Ajá. Entonces, ¿qué dice? I am in the office. Estoy dentro de los límites ya de la oficina. Por ejemplo, I am in my house. Este, aquí estoy dentro de mi casa. Right? Y si le puede decir, I am at home. Estoy en mi casa también, en mi hogar. Right? Se puede decir, por ejemplo, I am in the street. Estoy dentro de los límites de la calle. Entonces, el in a veces suena un poquito más específico okay, que el at. Entonces, esa es la, la diferencia. El at a veces en, en cuestiones, y estas preposiciones se ocupan de lugar y son las mismas a veces que se utilizan para tiempo, para dar la hora. Para dar la hora, el at es más específico. Por ejemplo, la clase comienza a qué horas? At 8 o'clock. Ok, y termina at 9 o'clock. Ok, in one hour, en ese periodo de tiempo, in one hour, en una hora. Entonces, ahí se van a ocupar, pero son las mismas palabras. Entonces, pero en lugar es más específico el in. Y por eso me detuve acá. <coughs> Sorry. Si ustedes ven en la, are they in your purse? Aquí le estoy preguntando que si están dentro, ok. Dentro de su eh, cartera. Y dice, no, they're not. They're gone, desaparecieron. I bet they're on the table. Ah, quizás están sobre la mesa. Apuesto que están sobre la mesa. In the restaurant. En el restaurante. O sea, allá adentro. 
Pero, por ejemplo, podemos decir, uh, si alguien le llama, hey, where are you? I'm at the, at the restaurant. Pero ahí está siendo más general. Puede ser que esté afuera o puede ser que esté adentro esperando a alguien. ¿Ok? Luego dice, excuse me. Ok, thanks. Ok, are these your keys? Yes, they are. Thank you. Sí, no problem. And is this your wallet? Mm, no, it's not. Where is your wallet, Joe? In my pocket. Aquí en mi bolsillo, right? Dentro. I say, wait a minute. That is my wallet. Ok. Entonces, ahí, ahí está ya la unión de prepositions and, eh, and nouns. Ahora veamos el video y ya van a ver alguna explicación extra. Wallet. Let's try to make sense of each part that you see on the screen. In order to form yes or no questions, we're going to follow the next formula. There are to be plus this, or in this case could be these, plus some kind of complement. So verb to be plus subject plus complement. In this case, we want to say that the subject is uh, this or these. So let's try to make some examples. As you can see on the screen, the example is this your wallet. We have the verb to be, in this case, happens to be is, and then we're going to use this, the complement in this case is your wallet. And then, of course, we put a question mark there. Um, the other example that you see on the screen are these your keys. Um, we have a verb to be, these, your keys, and of course we put a question mark at the end. Let me give a couple of more examples. Is this your things. In order to answer these type of questions, you're typically going to answer with, yes, it is. No, it's not. If it's plural, for example, yes, they are. The question towards the right hand side says, where is your wallet? So if we follow that rule, you're gonna put a WH word plus the verb to be, plus some kind of complement wallet. And of course we put a question mark there. Where is your wallet? Where are my keys? How are you today? Why are you hungry? Where is the police station? To answer WH questions, you now need to give information. For example, for the question, where is your wallet? Notice that the answer is, it's in my pocket. And also, all those questions that you heard 
from the conversation a few minutes ago. Now, it's your turn to make as many examples as possible. Practice making yes or no questions and WH questions. You should answer those questions as well. The more you practice, the easier this topic will become for you. We use WH. The only difference right? We can see the wallet. So if we follow that rule, we're going to put a WH word plus the verb to be plus some kind of complement wallet. And of course, we put a question mark there. Where is your wallet? Where are my keys? How are you today? Okay, so if you see here, this is what they call WH word. Okay, uh, WH word questions with the verb be. It, the difference is that the yes no question, in the yes no question, we have um, a, the answer is, is this your wallet? And then you say yes, it is, or no, it isn't, right? And in their cases, where is your wallet? Se requiere de más información, right? When you say, where is your wallet? It's in my pocket, okay? It's in my pocket. Where is your book, okay? For example, where is your... Wait a minute here. We have... Okay, where is your, uh, what is your book? What is your manual for this class? That is, where is your English book? It's in the platform. It's in the, uh, it's on the platform. It's in the computer, it's online. Okay, it's online. It's on the platform, or you can say it's well, it's in my computer. Okay, it's a digital book, it's a digital manual, it's in my computer. Okay, for example, uh, then you can use uh, if you have a dog. Okay, uh, Alison, do you have a dog? Do you have a pet in your house? Este profe, yo entro, entro un poco tarde a la clase. Sí. Ah, ya se la acabo de ver que estaba, estaba intentando loading, loading. La pregunta es, ¿tiene, ¿tiene mascota? Yes. Yes. Dog or cat? Dog. Dog. Okay. Where is the dog in this moment? ¿Dónde está el perrito en este momento? Where is the dog? In the kitchen, in the living room, in the street, in the neighbor's house. ¿Dónde está el perrito? En la casa del vecino. No. En el cuarto. En in my room. En cuál? En el suyo. Puede decir in my room. Okay, in my room. In my room. Uh -huh, in my okay. room, okay? So, it's muy común, right? In my room, in the garden, in the backyard, in the front yard, in the street, okay? The position, where is the dog, okay? Good. So, then this is the question when you say where. Now, we have questions like who. Who is your brother? Who is your mother? Who is your sister? Who is your husband? Who is your wife? What do you do? Uh, what do you like? When is your birthday? Okay. Uh, Patricia, when is your birthday? It's my birthday is in November. In November. We're saying in November, my way. Esa es una preposición de tiempo. Muy bien usada. Cuando se dice solo el mes, se dice in November. Si me dice la fecha, si me ha dicho, por ejemplo, el 15 de noviembre, so on November 15th. Ella cambia la proposición de in a on. Ok, pero ella me da el, el, el mes y el día. Que okay, si solo se usa el mes, como lo usó Patricia, muy bien, se in november. Ok. 
Uh, this is when. Uh, where? Where is your wallet? How are you today? Why do you like? Uh, why do you like pupusas, Gisela? Why? Why do you like pupusas? Why do you like? Supongo yo, estoy suponiendo que le gustan las pupusas. ¿Por qué le gustan? Why do you like pupusas? <laughs> because, uh -huh, because they are delicious. Ok, fíjense bien, en la primera, cuando dice who, se pregunta de quién una persona. What es en general, qué. When, tiempo, cuándo. Where, ubicación, lugar, dónde. How, es un, es un como de una, un adverbio de decir cómo está usted, cómo... Cómo, traba, cómo llega hasta aquí, cómo se moviliza de un lugar a otro, how do you get, y el why es para pedir razones o explicaciones, why do you like pupusas, y se responde con because, because I like it, because they are delicious, because it's a traditional food, because it's a typical food, okay, and then you say because. Okay, all these questions are uh, similar in that sense. Okay, two more people. Linda, no puede entrar. All right. Why are you hungry? Okay, this is one for time. Where is the police station? To answer, WH questions, you now need to give information. For example, for the question, where is your wallet? Notice that the answer is, it's in my pocket. And also, all those questions that you heard on the conversation a few minutes ago. Now, it's your turn to make as many examples as possible. Practice making yes or no questions and WH questions. You should answer those questions as well. The more you practice, the easier this topic will become for you. Okay. There you go. Uh, questions? Alguna otra pregunta? Duda? Alguna, no sé, comentario that you have about prepositions? Ok, eh, solo para, ahorita como les digo, para, ahorita vamos a ver preposiciones, estas preposiciones relacionadas al, a, a lugar, ok, uh, pero también estas mismas eh, se pueden ver relacionadas al tiempo, bueno, no todas las que vamos a ver ahora, porque, que se van a ver en este, digamos, en este nivel, porque hay algunas que, que realmente, este, como les dijera, son... Eh, que sí son bien específicas para tiempo, pero otras que no se pueden utilizar, ¿verdad? Okay. También. Good. Eh, creo que más eh, les puedo decir de esto. Well, those are the ones that I know. Eh, otra cosa, podríamos ver. Only, only that. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio con estas y luego. No, this is not. Okay, so we have the first one, which is knowledge. Instructions, complete a conversation, select the correct answer for each sentence or question. Now, in this case, we have to use, this your umbrella? No, it's not. So remember, we have to use is or are. Is. Because we have. 
the symbol uh -huh, is this, right? Is this, yes. Now in the next case we have, are, are this. this, is this, are, what is? Are these. Are these. Are these, there you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, are these. In the number three, how, where, or when? Where? 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 Location. Uh, where? Yes, where? we want to know where. Okay, where they are. Where? There you go. Okay, what else? Uh, number four. It's not. 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 Is this my pen? No, it's not. Right? Remember, not. It's not. Okay. So we have singular, plural, and the other ones. Okay. Now, the next one is the descriptions. In this class, you will learn how to use prepositions in order to describe. Okay, the location of different objects. And here we go with the preposition. Work in our discussion forums. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to use prepositions in order to describe the location of different objects. You'll learn the prepositions in, in front of, behind, on, next to, and under. Let's start by looking at the images on the screen. The images illustrate the preposition and its meaning. Let's start with the preposition in. We will start with the example. The question is, where are the keys? The keys are in the box. The next one. Where are the keys? The keys are in front of the box. Where are the keys? We can see the keys are behind the box. The keys are behind the box. Where are the keys? The keys are on the box. The keys are on the box. Where are the keys? The keys are next to the box. The keys are next to the box. Where are the keys? The keys are under the box. Now is your turn to make some examples. Look at the images on the screen and practice making the questions and answers, just like we did a minute ago. Then I would like for you to share your work in our discussion forums. Hi everyone. Are next to the box. Where are the keys? The keys are under the box. Okay, now, uh, for example, we're going to see the, sen the sentence here. It says, the books are in the book bag, okay? They are in the book bag, okay? They are in the book bag. The DVD player is, what is the preposition? What is the relation, uh, let's say, in terms of location, the DVD and the TV? Next to, next to, next to, to, okay. next to television. Yes, the, the DVD player is next to the television, correct. Next to the map. Where is the map? And this is the newspaper. Uh, under. Under. Under the newspaper. It's under the newspaper, correct. Okay, the map is under the newspaper. 
Yes. What else? The next one is? The chair is? Behind, behind the desk. Behind. Behind. behind, okay, behind the desk. And the wallet? Is on. on. Is on the boat back, okay, mm -hmm. or the back, the back. back. And the, the cell phone? In front of X2. In front of front of the other scope. The other scope is in front, in front, of, in front of, of the other scope. Yes. 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 Okay, good. Where where is the where is the window? Where is the window? Behind you, teacher. Yes, correct. Uh, that's correct, Ivan. The window is behind me. And the curtain? The curtain. In front of the window. In front of the window, uh -huh. and in relation to me? Is it behind you too? Uh -huh. yes. Behind you. Behind you too, correct, yes. And related to the window is in front of the window. Okay, very good. Okay, so you see this is how you can relate. Cuando usted ven a alguien una fiesta, hey, ¿quién es esa chica? ¿Quién es ese chico, right? Ah, ¿cuál? Ah, the one who is next to the window, que está a la parte de la ventana. Okay, uh, the one next to Ivan. Ah, que está la par de Ivan, right? El que está between Ivan and Francisco. Ah, el que está en medio. Entonces, ahí nos sirven las prepositions, right? To give reference. Okay, good. Now, let's continue with this information about the prepositions. And then we have here a knowledge check. Eh, es el que acabamos de hacer en el video. Okay, so que ahora we have to write it. Okay, we have this one. Okay, yeah. Okay, in the first one, the books we said, the books are in the back, right? Okay, the DVD player, the DVD player is? Next to the television. Next to the, next to the television, okay, is next to the television. The map is? On the, the newspaper. Uh, newspaper, the same ideas, right? The chair is behind, behind the desk. Behind the desk. The wallet is the wallet on the bow. It's the on, the, on the back, yes. On the pores or on the back? The head and pores are back, my problem, right? And the cell phone is in front of the others. In front of the uh, others book. Others book. Complete these sentences, then listen and check your answers. 1. The books are in the book bag. Okay. 2. The DVD player is next to the television. Here we go, next to the television. 3. The map is under the newspaper. Under the newspaper. 4. The chair is behind the desk. Behind the desk. 5. The wallet is on the purse. It's on the purse. Six. The cell phone is in front of the address book. It's in front of the address book. Okay. Now, preguntas sobre vocabulario? En la primera yo puse eso, pero me salió malo. 
me lo detectó como schoolback. Como schoolback. Correcto. Ok. Y Vamos. en el audio se escucha diferente. Complete these sentences. En el audio se Then listen and check your answers. One. The books are in the book bag. Ajá, uh -huh, in the book bag. Exactly. Y veamos. Pero si coloca in the book bag, se lo coloca no. malo. Lo También se lo pone malo. Yo lo coloqué in the book bag y me lo... Y me lo... Sí. Las que le aceptan son in the book bag. Sí. In the book bag, in the book bag, in the school bag. In the school bag, ajá. Uh -huh. In the book bag, uh, in the school bag. Okay. okay, esas son las dos aceptables. Pero sí, vamos a poner con, con, con respecto al audio no hay ninguna. Ajá, correct. Okay. Quiero una cosa acá in the school bag. Eh, el micrófono, please. Alguien tiene el micrófono school bag. Quiero ver esta school bag, si la... Sí, así sí la acepta, school bag. Ok, pero si ponemos... Book bag, ok, entonces esa es la correcta, ok. ¿Y esta la acepta separada o...? También ha sido unido. De las dos maneras, lo sé. Ajá, correcto. Ok, perfecto. Ahí estamos. Gracias por el comentario. Por si alguien no lo había hecho, pues ya tiene ahí el tip. Eh, any other question about the vocabulary? No? No question. Ok. Now, the last one, el último de este tema es el... By the end of this practice, you will learn how to share information about the location of other people's objects. Okay, aquí vamos a ver los objetos de alguien más. Okay. For example, here. Eh, where are Kate's earrings? ¿Cuál es la pregunta acá? ¿Dónde están, ¿A dónde los, están los, los aretes, aretes de, Kate? de Kate? De Kate. O sea, este apóstrofe que ven ahí con esa S significa de. ¿Dónde están los aretes de Kate? Ahí se viene de regreso. De Kate. Eh, where is Kate's watch? ¿Dónde está el watch? Está el reloj de Kate. De Kate. ¿Dónde está el reloj de Kate? Ok, perfect. Now let's listen. Vamos a escuchar el audio. And then we are going to answer the questions. Where are my earrings? Are they on the table? No. Oh, here they are in my purse. Now, where's my watch? Hmm, it's not in my purse. Where? There it is, in front of the television. Oh, of course. Thanks, Joe. Let's see. My sunglasses. Where are they? Next to my watch? No. Are they behind your purse? No, they aren't. Oh, they're on the chair. Great. Now, I just need one more thing. My address book. It's probably on the table. No, it's not. It's under the table. Okay. Where do we have Kate's earrings? Where are they? In the, In the purse. purse. In the purse, normally. In the purse. Where is the where is Kate's watch? In front of the television. In front of the television. Here you can say in front of. You can say in front of. In front of. 
Una... Bueno. Eh, suena bastante poco, ¿ok? El mínimo. Ok, say in front of. Where are Kate's sunglasses? On the On chair. The chair. On the chair. Okay? And where's Kate's address book? Under, Under the, the table. table. Um, Very important. Okay. That's correct. Okay, there you go. Okay, remember just Kate's address. You can say, for example, what is Claudia's uh, address book? Where are Claudia's sunglasses? Where are Abigail's sunglasses? Where are uh, Elisa's sunglasses? What is Elisa's watch? Se le pone esa apóstrofe con esa S al final. De la persona se da a entender que de ella, okay? Where is, for example, where is Cecilia's book? Ah, it's on the table. Okay, you can also use where is Ivan's car? Ah, uh, it's in the street. Where is Francisco's uh, computer? It's on the desk. It's in front of him. Okay, it's in the it's in the room. Okay, it's in the living room. Okay, then you're going to use the possessive forms. Okay, any questions? Now we're going to move. Ahora, con esto terminamos la sección 2. Y esta es la que tenemos que terminar esta semana, la 3, junto con el revisar el examen del midterm. Okay, we have loading, loading. There you go. What's the first topic? Okay, in this uh, conversation, I say, are you from Seoul? This conversation illustrate, yes, no questions, WH questions, which we will learn in the future or in future, right? Si ven, continúa el tema de las yes, no questions. Okay, estamos viendo hace, eh, hace dos ejercicios y las preguntas con eh, WH questions, who, what, where. Okay, solo que um, antes de continuar, si veo pocos. Bueno, aquí hemos puesto por ahí alguien que tiene problemas de conexión lo cual no es nada raro en estos días. Voy a pasar la asistencia para... Ok, then... Eh, And to open the file. Okay, today is Monday six. Okay, uh, so we have Abiel is here. Oh, we're going to practice. Is Abiel here? Yes or no? Uh, present. Uh, no. Present. Uh, no, but you are Ariel. This is Abiel. No, Ariel. Yes, Ariel is here too. Yes. Uh, okay, good. And yes. then, uh, yes, Alison. Yes, Alison, yes. Present. Uh, Amanda Lisset. No. Huh? Okay, and Ana Vilma Morales. Navilma, no, it means here today. We have uh, Brian. Yeah, uh, yes, Brian. 
Ariel, okay. Ariel, yes, is here. Brian, Carlos Alfredo. Yes. Present, present. Yes, good. And then we present. have Carlos Edgardo Cruz. Present. Present. Present, yes. Carmen Selina. Present. There you go. Then we have Ceci Guadalupe. Ceci, Ceci. Okay. Present. Okay, there you go. Now, <laughs> Cecilia. Cecilia Noemi. Present, teacher. Good. Okay, then we have uh, Claudia Elizabeth. Present. Okay, Claudia Esmeralda. Present. Claudia Stephanie. Stephanie. Okay, Claudia Stephanie, and then we have uh, Dalia Margarita. Present. Son los nombres de flores, mire, Dalia y Margarita, ¿verdad? Sí, yes. Yeah. Okay, solo faltó que pusiera, que se pusiera el apellido Jardín. Jardín <laughs> <laughs> para completar. Good. And then we have uh, Deris, Deris, Deris Danilo, yes. Present. Good. And then we have uh, Deborah. Deborah, no. Eh, Edwin Edgardo. Present. Edwin Eduardo. Edwin Eduardo Escobar. Ok. Eh, Elsa Karina. No, Elsie. Ok. Elsie Patricia. Present. Sí, 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 la vi. Ok, Francisco Antonio. I am here. Good. Thank you. Gisela Emperatriz. Also right. Present. Hector Iván. Present teacher. Helen Vanessa. Helen, Helen. Okay, and then we have Hilda, Hilda Norma Sorto. No. Okay, then Ivan Ibrahim, yes, right? Here, teacher. Yes, Jacqueline Karina. Present. Yes, Jaime Ernesto. Jaime, Jaime. No, and Janet Carolina. Present. Okie dokie. Thank you very much, people. That's it. Okay, now let's go back to the story where we were, and somebody wrote in the chat. Yes, Alison and Brian, yes. Okay, so. Uh, it's not the one. Okay, so then we have the, are you from Seoul? Uh, what is Seoul is Seoul, right? So are you from Seoul means if you are from Seoul, Korea. Okay, Korea, are you from Musulutan? Are you from San Miguel? Are you from uh, Okinawa? Are you from Japan? Are you from uh, Germany? Okay, are you from Italy? So you can use expressions from different countries, okay? Where where uh, where you come from originally, right? For example, uh, now in these days, I live in Lourdes, Colón, but I am originally from San Salvador, okay? If you ask me, where are you from? I am from San Salvador, okay? Uh, if you say, for example, if, if I am in another country, I, and where are you from? Then you can say, uh, Claudia Stephanie, Yes, Claudia, I mentioned it. Okay, Stephanie, no problem. Yo, no, not okay, okay, so no. 
si no me contestó, pero yo creo que sí. Ok, I got it. All right, no problem, Mr. Frame. Good. Ok, so then we have, uh, depending on the, on the sense, are you from Seoul? This is just a question. For example, Gisela, are you from Italy? No, I'm not. Okay. No, I'm not. It's okay. No, you can say no. Then say the short form could be also no, I'm not. There are three forms. No, no, I am not. Or no, I am from El Salvador. Okay, no problem. Good. Now listen. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll listen to a conversation titled, Are You from Seoul? This conversation illustrates how yes, no, and WH questions are used. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. What I would like for you to do next is to practice this conversation. This conversation will become very useful for our future lessons. No, we're not from Seoul. We're from... Okay, so remember this is... Um, the pronunciation is, are you from California, Jessica? Well... My family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from the John. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. Okay, yes, it is. Okay, I need uh, two volunteers. Raise your hand, two, two volunteers. Okay, yeah, we got them. So we have Ariel and Patricia. Okay, and then we go to Francisco, okay? Eh, Ariel, you lea la parte de Tim and Patricia, you lea la parte de Jessica. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, are you from California, Jessica? Where? Oh, no. uh, are, are you from California, Patricia? Mm -hmm. Where? My family is California now, but we are from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean from Seoul. So, are you from Seoul? No, we are not from Seoul. We are from the June. So is, so is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. Korean? Yes, it is. Good. Thank you very much. Excellent. Okay, good. Uh, solo uno más, porque ya tengo a Francisco. ¿Quién más? One more, one more. Uno más, que levante la mano. Levante la mano. Ok, tengo Francisco. Sí, no, pero sí, lo tengo. Ok, Francisco Antonio, uno más. Ahí está ya Claudia. Thank you, Claudia Esmeralda. Ok, Claudia, usted va a ser Jessica. Y Francisco, usted es Tim. Go ahead. Ok. Are you from California, Francisco? Eh, no, el, el, eh, Francisco comienza. Es al revés. Ah, okay, perdón. Yes, yes, yes. It's okay. Are you from California, Jessica? We, well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea original. Oh, my mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're from Seoul. We're from the... The John. The John. The John. The John. So, is your first language Korean? Yes, 
Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, yes, good. It is. Then, yes, remember this. Are you from California? Well, 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 well. Okay, well, my family is in California now. Excellent. Okay, so this is uh, a ese tipo de práctica así leer en voz alta. This is what you have to do in your house. Okay, con estén solos. Practice. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Originally, oh, my mother is Korean from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? So on. Okay. De una dos tres veces lo graban, se oyen y así van practicando. Okay. Y van a ir mejorando mucho la articulación, no la pronunciación, sino que el acostumbrarse al sonido, a la pronunciación de los sonidos. Okay, good. For our future uh, lessons. Introduction, still introduction, right? And then we have the how to form negative statements and yes, no questions. We're going to watch. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form negative statements and yes and no questions would be. Let's start by looking at the examples on the screen. All the statements that you see are negative statements. I'm not from New York. You're not late. She's not from Russia. He's not from Italy. It's not English. We're not from Japan. You're not early. They're not in Mexico. In order to form negative statements would be, you need to follow this next formula. Subject plus verb to be plus not plus complement. So let's try to make sense of this. I am not from New York. The example above, when express spoken, we will typically use contractions. So that's why we say I'm not from New York rather than I am not from New York. We make the contraction. Let me give another example. You are not late. Now let me talk about making questions would be. This is the structure to follow. Verb to be plus subject plus complement. We're going to take the examples from this chart. So, are you from California? And then put a question mark at the end. Am I early? Is she from Brazil? Is he from Chile? Is it Korean? Are you from China? Are we late? Are they in Canada? If you notice the examples above, you can see that we have the verb to be, then the subject, and finally some kind of complement. In order to answer this type of questions, you will typically give a short answer, such as the examples that you see on the chart. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, you're not. Yes, she is. No, she's not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Yes, you are. No, you're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Now it's your turn to practice. Give as many examples as possible, forming questions and answers and then share them in our discussion forums. Okay. So as you remember, you have a document. Yeah, we have a document, right? With the yes, no questions, affirmative, negative. And that's what we are going to practice tomorrow, right? The using, for example, the affirmative and negative and practicing some conversations. Uh, okay, so we're going to stop here for today. Uh, just the recommendation is 
eh, practice the questions. Practiquen las preguntas y las oraciones negativas en verb to be. Y tomorrow we are going to do the practice here in the class. Okay, people, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night.